Well, it's an adult purchase. Ho ho ho, because we're all growing up now. Ha ha ha. Or cordless buffer. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like having a tripod with only with no legs. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have just gone out and bought myself a bit of a purchase. You might be able to see it here in the background. It's the Ryobi cordless vacuum stick and it's brushless apparently too. Ha ha, who knew? Brushless. What does that mean? Absolutely no f***ing idea. <laughs> but we'll soon find out for all you people watching at home. Here it is in the background. <laughs> Stop mucking around, Hayley. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you ladies and gents at home who might be thinking about making yourself a purchase too. So here we go. Let's get to the video. Let's open this thing up. So here it is. Here's my new baby. Have a look at her. Isn't she fabulous? Well, I hope she is. <laughs> it's a she. <laughs> so while I've got you here, let me run across all the features and benefits from this product. We have. I'm hoping it's fabulous. This is our first time trying this. It comes with. A 5.0 AH thin battery. It's included up to 50 minutes of runtime. Powerful suction. Oh, yes, please. Boost mode on brush bar. Maximizes dust pickup and efficiency. Well, hello, Christmas. And here's some of the things you can find in your kit. Well, let's bring this on and let's open her up. So, as I said, my two fabulous mummies got this purchase for me because once I moved house, I realised I didn't actually have one myself. And for the last month, I've been sweeping the carpet, sweeping the floors, I'm just sweeping crap everywhere and it's not really doing much. So, it was definitely dire straits time we needed this vacuum cleaner. So, this one came recommended by the mummies as they have one themselves. And the good thing is the battery can be used for many, many Ryobi products. No, this is not sponsored, but I just love the idea that we could connect this battery to so many of their products because I'm a single mum now. I'm gonna be doing some drilling and all sorts of fun stuff on my own, especially when I'm going to be renovating, converting my garage into my da -na -na -na, Haley's boudoir, which will be coming very soon, hopefully, because you know, I'm sick of sleeping on a floor on a mattress. It's not that fun. So because I'm going to be building up my repertoire, I thought, well, why not? This sounds like the perfect fit for me. And again, I just been wanting to give it a try because I've heard so many good things, not just from the mummies, but from a lot of my other friends as well. I've done the Dyson for about four years and although it's quite great, it's not all it's cracked up to be at the same time. So at this stage in life, I thought, well, hell, why not try something else? Try something new, let's give it a go. So without anticipation, I'm going to be opening this baby up for you and I'm going to give her a crack because seriously, I just opened some boxes the other day of my old boring dresses, the look. It probably doesn't look too bad there, but I've got feathers and crap and diamantes and dust everywhere. Dust bunnies, dust bunnies in every corner. We need to get rid of them. Let's hope this little baby does it for us. We'll soon find out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ta-da, one song and he's open. Here we are. Ta-da. Trusty instructions, you know I'm not going to read. Well, I've just done the unboxing and I've got all these magical pieces that are supposed to magically come together. So give me a moment, I'm going to get my shit together and try and figure out what goes with what. See you in a second. So first things first, my darlings, we need to go and charge this baby up so I can show you how it works. And myself too. Fancy that. In a momento. Alright, so I've just plugged her in and she's about bit more than halfway full, so it shouldn't take too long for, for us to be able to actually use it, which is wonderful for the first time. Copy, copy, copy. Jeez. You see the dust bunny coming in your hands. We got called Dust Buster. Yeah. It still has brushes on it, but it's pretty. Look at that. Oh, look at the wondrous things that done there. Okay, what's the next bloody step? What are we missing? Alright guys, so the wonderful thing is, this comes with an extra filter because, as you can see, we've already got one in there, so... How wonderful is that? Dyson doesn't do that for okay? you. I'm just going to run over some of the other products that came with it because I had no idea as I was opening all these things up there what, what they actually were. So, here we go. So, it actually comes with some wall mounting things. Which I'll actually need a Ryobi drill for that to happen. So, we are walking the process right now. We're a part of it, and that's something we'll get to in the near future, but not too near, if you know what I'm saying. It also comes with a few screws as well. So, a few screws, blue, come to Ryobi. It also comes with this brush. Now, I suppose you could use it for like your heavy duty mats in the car would be really good which reminds me something dying in the car i believe that one of the six left a bottle of milk in there lucky me you could possibly use this on your lounge as well i would probably do it on a smaller spot i would probably do it in a spot that you actually couldn't see too well just in case it roughed it up too much because Lounges are expensive as it is, aren't they? We've also got this. Now you can do your skirting boards with it. Again, smaller spot you can't get in, so. Crevices, all sorts of fun things you could also possibly use on your land as a softer option. Now I'm just gonna check and see because I'm guessing maybe this could not only fit here, but I'm wondering if we could slot it straight into the mechanism. 
using finalwords.com.au. I'm just going to try it because it'd be nice to have a smaller stick, a smaller vacuum. It fits. <laughs> it fits. I don't know if it's recommended or not, but it fits. So I'll check and see if this works as well because. I mean, seriously, how easy is this? You know? I'm finding all the interchangeable parts are really easy if I can do it, anyone can do it. Alright, now it is very heavy. I'm not gonna lie. If I was to hold it up like this, I'd sort of feel like I need to go to the gym a couple of months to be able to vacuum my floor. But we're not gonna be vacuuming around like this, so I'll be like, this is my life's a window. <laughs> Just sort of rolling it around on the floor here. So, if you feel like you can do a little bit of a dance around with your back hand, you know, lady, that's what we do when we put on our good old 90s, 80s music. Makes it so much more fun. It's actually a nice weight. So, I'm impressed thus far. Let's see how she sucks. so she's not fully charged yet, but I've got no patience. I want to play with it. We'll take the battery out now that we've figured out how to do it. <laughs> Come on, it's my first time with the radio. Give me a break. Pinch in these both sides to release the battery. Grab your trusty new radio stickless. Stickless. It's not stickless. Grab your new trusty Ryobi cordless vacuum. Grab your battery. Oh, done. And let's see how she fares. Let's go. Now, don't judge me. Again, I have children. Two little ones. And I've been using the good old broomstick to get all my bits and pieces off the ground. So, now you know what the floor looked like. Let's see how she fares. All right, let's turn her on. I just had a good run around my very small area of carpet there and just a little bit on the tiles and she's full already. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that everybody. Okay, everybody, my final thoughts. So, other than that little mishap you saw a little bit earlier, just be careful of that, pulling the sticker off. Do it before you actually vacuum the floor or you'll get shit everywhere too. Lucky me. So, again, my final thoughts on the good old Ryobi cordless vacuum that's supposed to be brushless as well. There are little brushes in there. I don't know what they're going on about. Anyway, if I was going to compare it to my Dyson, well, it depends on what Dyson you have, I suppose. I just had the regular cordless version, very similar to this. And to be honest, the Dyson, at first I thought it actually did suck a bit harder, but you know what, I actually think that it was the noise that made it sound like it sucked harder because this one actually got up so much 
it seemed to get everything up without it actually pushing it somewhere else or the, it blowing so hard that or the air that's coming out of it's blowing so hard it's just blowing it all across the room i think we've all experienced that with the dyson um, that didn't happen with the Ryobi, but I will say one thing, and I remember looking at a few reviews about this and thinking, oh, it couldn't be that heavy. I'll be very honest with you, it is heavy. It's heavy, but would I go the Dyson over this? No, I would definitely pick the Ryobi first because one, it's quieter. Two, yes, it does suck harder. The fact that you can interchange the battery with all of their other products, which I'm going to be investing in in the near future. Now that I have to warm out something, absolutely. I love the fact that it's got a light at the front of it, so when you're actually bending down and doing underneath your TV cabinet or your lounge, you can actually see the dust bunnies. Would I purchase the Ryobi again? Absolutely. I. I'm really, really happy I got it. I came very close to getting the Kmart one. As you all know, Kmart's my favorite shop. I almost got the Kmart version, but the reviews were really all over the shop, especially ones about people that have tiles in their home, which I do. I've got tiles everywhere. So I needed something that wasn't going to, as I said earlier, push and blow the dust somewhere else because that seemed to be the case with the Kmart one. So 100% yes, I would purchase this again. I'm very, very happy with it. It is hella heavy, but if you think of it in a positive way, I'm gonna have guns of steel by the end of this. Watch out. <laughs> I also forgot to tell you where I got it. Oh, I, oh coffee. <laughs> I also forgot to tell you where I got it from. I got it from Bunnings. I'm not sure where else you could get it, but I'll leave the link in the description for you so it's easy to find. Again, this video was not sponsored in any way. It is my absolute personal opinion, and I hope it might have helped you or any other single mothers out there in your new stickless... Your new stickless... Why do I keep saying stickless? So if any of you are treading down that cordless vacuum journey, I would definitely suggest looking into the Ryobi first, then the Dyson. Just remember that Dyson's already got that name and, and it's a good name. And not to say that it's terrible at all because Dyson's really good. It was my first cordless vacuum. But if I was to go back in time, and not that I have to because I've got one now, but if I was to go back in time and have had the chance to have used both, I would definitely stick to the Ryobi for sure. Anyway, I hope that I helped you. I hope you liked this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because it really does help me out and we will see you next time. Mwah. Warm and fuzzies. Bye-bye.